Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, we'll be learning how to identify if a given transistor is an NPN transistor or a PNP transistor. So I have with me a bipolar junction transistor and we will test out which of its leg is NP and N or PNP. So just place your transistor on your breadboard and take your multimeter out and to do this experiment what you need to make sure is that your multimeter has a diode testing mode so just you know turn your multimeter knob to the diode testing mode and set it there now before we continue let's just understand what we are going to be doing in a few, in a few moments from now so when your multimeter is in diode testing mode what happens is is that if you connect the positive testing probe to the positive or the p-type uh, terminal of your diode and the negative testing probe to the cathode of your diode that is the n-type then it will show a voltage drop of about somewhere between 0.3 volts to 0.8 volts however if you connect the positive testing probe of your multimeter to the N type of your diode and the negative testing probe to the P type of your diode then your multimeter will show 0L that is um, open circuit or over limit. Now the same technique can be applied to a transistor as it is essentially two diodes stuck together. Now let's just take the case of this NPN transistor right here. So if I connect the positive testing probe of the multimeter to the base or the p-type of this trans uh, p-type terminal of this transistor and the negative testing probe to the emitter that is the n-type testing um, n-type terminal of this transistor then i should get uh, some positive or finite voltage that is um, that would lie between 0.3 volts to 0.8 volts in the multimeter however if you make the connections in an opposite fashion then you would get a zero l reading that is the circuit is open or your diodes are reverse biased so if you get a positive reading then you have connected your diodes in a forward bias mode and if you get a 0L reading that means that you have connected the diode in a reverse biased mode so that can be applied to find out if a given transistor is NPN or PNP which we'll be doing right now now let's head back over to our transistor and connect any of its two terminals to the positive and the negative testing probes of my multimeter. Now let's check the reading that we are getting in the multimeter. And since I am getting an OL right here that means that it is reverse biased. So my middle terminal must have been P and I will just make sure by exchanging the probes and I get some voltage that is 0 0.706 right there that means my middle probe uh, my middle terminal of the transistor is of P type and the first terminal is of N type now I'm checking the other two probes right now um, sorry I meant I'm checking the other two terminals and I'm getting a positive voltage as well that lies between 0.3 volts to 0.8 volts so that means my transistor is NPN now that I know that I have an NPN transistor with me, what I need to find out is which of the terminals is actually the base collector and the emitter. Now obviously the P terminal is going to be the base as only the P terminal can be the base in an NPN tra transistor. And so the only question that remains is that which of the terminals is actually the C that is a collector terminal and which of the terminal is the emitter terminal. Now, since you know the emitter is more heavily doped in comparison to the collector, so the forward bias voltage uh, across the emitter base should be more as compared to the forward bias voltage across the base and the collector. And we will make use of this knowledge to find out if um, to identify the emitter and the collector of this particular transistor. So I'm just going to measure the forward bias voltage across these two terminals right here and I will note that voltage. I'm getting 0 0.707 volts. Now if I forward biased these two terminals right here then I'm getting 0 0.710 volts. Now since 0 0.710 is greater than the previous value that means 
this terminal right here is my emitter so this is my emitter this base and this is the collector so that's how you identify if your transistor is in npn and how to identify the emitter base and the collector LEDs as well thanks for watching and have a nice day